I'm Mike Stanton. It's November 5th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. This is a fairly big news week outside the Muni Market, uh, outside factors impacting our market. Uh, we had the FOMC meeting earlier this week, and we had the big October employment report this morning. Uh, what was the most important news event on the calendar, and how did the markets react? Yeah, I think the, uh, the Fed announcement, as you touch on uh, on Wednesday, was about as well telegraphed as you could possibly get, um, and the markets uh, took it relatively in kind. The Treasury market actually sold off a little bit after after the announcement, um, but the Fed uh, uh, comments on Wednesday directly um, pointed and I think highlighted the importance of the uh, employment picture in here. You know, clearly there's an inflation issue that's going on. There's some hope or speculation that that will be uh, temporary, um, but the, it's the employment uh, aspect of the equation of the Fed's mandate that is uh, really was highlighted on Wednesday. Um, so this morning's FOMC number, I think was uh, about as anticipated, you know, well anticipated as you could get. The number came in extremely uh, strong. You had 531,000 jobs. You had a 235,000 adjustment, positive adjustment for prior months. The un unemployment rate dropped from 4.8 to 4.6. Average hourly earnings came in at 4.9% year over year. All the components were very uh, strong, and, uh, exceeded expectations. Um, and I guess the shocking thing of it all is, uh, you know, with the Fed announcing the taper on Wednesday and the strong employment number here, especially when the Fed had highlighted the importance of that, we really, um, you would have expected the bond market to sell off. Um, and the, the opposite has happened. You've seen a uh, point and three quarter rally on the long bond uh, this morning, bringing uh, uh, the yield down to a 189. Have you seen any good insights into why that's happening? I, I saw one report from Bloomberg earlier today that it may have been uh, telegraphing from the Bank of England of all places, saying that they will go uh, more slowly in raising rates. Yeah, there's, there's clearly a lot of international uh, demand. You're still seeing negative rates in a uh, number of com uh, countries, including Germany. Um, so the uh, appeal of US rates, while, while they're low historically, uh, in comparison to some of the international uh, levels, it's still attracting a fair amount of money. So I think there's some aspect of that. I think there's some aspect that the Fed announcing the taper was going to uh, drive rates higher um, and there's too much anticipation, too much shorts outstanding and, and the shorts came in and covered or uh, continue to cover. So there's some technical nuances and that's a good transition to Brian and the muni market specific issues. Uh, our own technical issues are, are relatively unimportant, I think, compared to what's going on in, in the global rates market. Uh, we did see uh, a slightly stronger inflows to muni bond uh, mutual funds this week. Uh, and we are, of course, seeing relatively low new issue supply. Uh, this past week, that was because issuers were, uh, were staying out of the way of the Fed uh, to make sure there were no surprises in the Fed meeting. Uh, what kind of activity did you see in the market this week? Yeah, a combination of things, uh, you know, uh, election day uh, on Tuesday, as well as uh, as well as, like you said, just a lot of headline risk uh, out there in the broader markets uh, kind of kept supply a little bit on the lighter side. Overall, um, we ended up at about uh, maybe a little under seven and a half billion, um, which was uh, fairly light and, and very well managed um, as the week went on. Uh, next week, uh, the market will pick back up. Uh, it'll be a little bit concentrated with a few larger deals, but the uh, market is expecting a lot around 10 and a half or 11 billion. Uh, but for this week, seven and a half billion, um, you know, pretty tame. Uh, BAM had a, a fairly active week. We priced about 164 million in transactions. Uh, some of the highlights there included a competitive sale where we insured about 91 million uh, for Miami Dade County schools. Uh, that's an, a double A three underlying deal, which was a competitive sale that Wells Fargo purchased, uh, and that was uh, that was on the taxable side. Uh, away from that, we had a thirteen million dollar deal for Sunfield uh, Municipal Utility District, which carried a, a BAA two underlying rating that was purchased competitively by Huntington. Uh, thirteen million dollar Poway Water deal, uh, which has an underlying rating of double A minus, was priced by Stiefel. Uh, and then rounding out some of the uh, some of the top deals was uh, Gloucester City, New Jersey, uh, which was purchased by Morgan Stanley in the competitive market. And that was about uh, a $10 million deal with an A-plus underlying rating. 
Great. So it'll be interesting to see how next week goes. Uh, $11 billion even uh, in a holiday shortened week. Bond markets will be closed on Thursday for Veterans Day. Uh, so we'll see uh, people will get those uh, transactions done in a uh, relatively short order. Thanks for uh, your time this week, gentlemen, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 